So uh, just kind of a follow up. The other day on the back, we installed our brake lights. We'll show you a video here, just a second of them working, but it started to rain. So I got some caulk on there. Literally put the caulk on, it's gonna dry. I put clear caulk on, but totally cool. This looks nice and clean um, and tested everything out. Got it all wired. Also got everything wired underneath. Gonna fix up that tape job right there, but it was pretty interesting, pretty fun. And uh, that was a lot of fun. So next project is getting these LED lights up in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, obviously I gotta mount this. I'm gonna put it over in this corner. Got that idea from somebody in the, the Runaway Group, which is awesome, but I do have all the lights up. I've never messed with LED lights, so those of you who have, maybe you're not thinking this is cool as me, but I think it's pretty awesome. And it took me a little bit. So here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Looking good. I like how it was flush with the, uh, the corners all the way around, so. Pretty happy with it. Uh, this particular set dims, gets brighter. I'm sure there's tons out there that are very similar to it. So, I mean, you know, this brand works for us and I really liked how easy it was. So here we go. All right, so we got the uh, runaway behind our Ford Edge. Usually tow it with that bad boy, the Traverse, but uh, coming in here, finished off the lights. All right, got them. Also threw some caulk down there. Um, where we have the shore power going out and also the cord going down to the back. Also put some caulk down there. I know that's usually a, a spot where water can come in, so it's definitely good to do, but really pretty happy with how it turned out today. And uh, we'll see what we get with our next build. Look forward to that video. It's gonna be the bed build we've been uh, kind of planning and it's gonna be pretty sick. So um, taking a lot of what we've seen and a lot of our, uh, a lot of the people we follow in their videos and we can't wait to, uh, kind of make this our own in here, so. All right, a little update on the lights. So, got the lights installed. Obviously, I wanna do a little more organization up here with the uh, cords and everything, but we ordered this um, power surge protector, and I just have that uh, 3M down the wall with some tape, it's a Velcro, and it's not permanent, but the cord, we're gonna get in on that side of the uh, the runaway most of the time. So that cord for the lights actually was, it was it was not long enough totally to get all the way over here, which is fine because I wanted to make use of that. So what I got is the surge protector over there, running up over the AC. And then the lights are pl plugged into the surge and we are all lit up. Obviously, nowhere near ready to camp in. We got that bed build. And I'm telling you, that thing's gonna be sweet coming up. All right. Last thing we gotta do today is put the seal on this side of the door. We got it over there on that side. So looking forward to it. Here we go. All right, what's up guys? Got all the wood. We're gonna be starting on our project, uh, building the bed frame. Got everything set up. Gonna be using this plywood as the base. We put some holes in it, obviously, so that uh, some air can get through. Uh, and also got our truck box. We're gonna put that on the tongue of the camper coming up here soon. So uh, enjoy the progress. Here we go.
what we have here is I created kind of a frame that's going to hold the, uh, the outsides of the bed, but also it comes off the wall a little bit to allow for air to go. Uh, it's, it's nothing that's just flat up against the wall. I um, got this idea from another gentleman. We looked at some of his, uh, some of his you know, ideas for how he built his bed and everything. So I used one by eights, and then I just cut pieces of one by four to put them on the outside. And then these outside beams are actually held in by the door frame. And this back part, as you can see, got the one by fours spread out, and that'll go up against the wall to bring it off the wall a little bit. So just dry fitting everything right now before we put the floor in. So notched out a spot. Not sure if you can see it from that far. Over here in the corner for our power supply coming out of the floor. So. You can see right here, I just put some uh, brackets in the corners just for right now. I'm gonna take them out, but I want to make sure everything is fitting nice and snug. And again, these are made so that they're held in pretty much by the door here. So, pretty good. All right, so starting a bed frame to go inside the actual frame in there. Um, got some pocket jig holes to connect. Here is going to be a corner. And we go down to the middle. And obviously, that's for the middle support. And then a bunch of jig holes. Uh, over to this end. So this will be the back side of the bed. Um, the front side of the bed will also have one of these connected by two by fours, but looking forward to getting it in there and dry fitting and see how it goes. All right, so we got the framing around the side. Again, keeping the boards off the wall just for airflow. And we got the bed frame the main frame in the back put in now. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're gonna put some stuff on the floor, um, but right now we just haven't done this. Basically a dry fit of everything right now, just getting this project going. So. All right, so we're gonna be mounting up the tongue box, the truck box on the front today. So there's a rubber, I'm creating just little rubber gaskets and we got some Gorilla double-sided tape. What I'm gonna do is put that actually on the tongue of the trailer before I put the tongue box on. Bring it over here. What we've done is I've marked exactly where the tongue box is gonna be. Mark the center here. As well, I used just white electrical tape to mark the lineup spots. That way I didn't have to mark the tongue box. And I've already drilled the holes in the bottom. I do have some cleanup to do. I'm gonna do that with the shop vac in just a little bit, but just about to put the double-sided tape down here, here. That way I can get the tongue box on. That'll be just another layer of it not moving around. So. All right, got the tongue box installed. Got the rings on there. You can see we've got a uh, rubber gasket there. Um, still got these two small holes that came in and I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in and make sure they're sealed up. But I'm gonna put a, a bead of caulk on the bottom of all four of these U-bolts just to make sure no water gets in while we're traveling, while it's stored and everything. So. platform in the back for that part of the bed and the front part is going to sit on that lip 
But then we're gonna have the option of lifting it and sliding it back and making a couch area up here. So that's a pretty cool thing about it. All right, just got the second piece. We're gonna have some uh, additional stabilizer feet at the front, but on this first piece up front, is actually gonna be able to go on top the second to create a couch, so pretty stoked about that. So I got both pieces on here. So this will slide back out to go back into bed mode. And then when we're camped out, so we still have back. storage underneath. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very nice. Pretty cool. We can actually break it all down. We took it out. We actually uh, Jenna's in the. Range runner right now, cleaning the floor. We're gonna install our floor tiles and then reassemble everything. And then Jenna's gonna go ahead and put the uh, bed on, so. All right, so to fight condensation, before we put our floor down, we put these tiles down made out of PVC. And you can see they're gonna allow the floor to breathe just a little bit. Um, did a lot of trimming just to make sure everything fit, specifically around the power outlet over there, um, around the doors here. Uh, so, and our short power over here. So, turned out pretty nice. This is just the first layer of floor, and then we're gonna put our foam tiles on top and then reinstall the bed. All right, good news. We got all the PVC uh, flooring in underneath. And then Jenna actually did a great job. She was amazing with this. I put it in our padded flooring. It's awesome. All right, so full bed finish. The bed converts into a couch. This front piece will lift up there. Slides back, as you saw earlier. Beautiful drapes done by my wonderful wife, Jenna. Um, she knitted and did all the hemming on all of those to be specific to each window. And she also did an amazing job putting in the floor. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And as you know, lights all around. So, pretty pumped. More to come.